Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the saints in Christ, welcome to a new episode. Uh, in this episode, uh, I will, in the grace of God, expose the, uh, what can I say, the deception about a verse uh, in the uh, first epistle to Timothy by St. Paul, uh, chapter 4, verse 15. I'll expose the deception by uh, the very famous uh, priest in the Coptic Church, Father Dawood Lamey. Uh, before I, I, I put just a, uh, an introduction, I would like to read some verses, four or five, five verses, and I hope that you can link the verses to the topic of today, to the, to the deception that I'm going to expose today. All right? Uh, Jesus answered them, the disciples, in the book of uh, uh, John chapter 6, the second last verse. Did I not choose you, the twelve, and one of you is a devil? That was in the beginning of the service of Lord Jesus. Of course, you know, he meant Judas, the Iscariot. All right. So he's assuring out of the twelve, there is a devil, not just an evil person or half half person or not a strong person, in, a person in faith. No, a devil. And at the end of his service, in his prayer, in intercessory prayer in uh, chapter 17 uh, book of John he says the following though those whom you give me I have kept and none of them is lost except the son of perdition the son of perdition so the son of perdition is among the twelve next so this is Jesus Christ himself talking now let's see what Saint Paul says in the book of Acts chapter 20, he was talking to a group of uh, elders or bishops uh, in Miletus, but they were coming from Ephesus and its surroundings area. For I know this, that after my departure, savage wolves will come, will come in among you, not sparing the flock. Also from among yourselves, the leaders, the bishops, men will rise up speaking perverse things to draw away the disciples after themselves so those uh, from among those leaders of the church will come those people that speaking perverse things like things like not true what about saint peter yes he, he spoke he spoke the same but there were also false prophets among the people, even as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive heresies. Second Peter chapter 2. And what about St. John? Yes, St. John. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. So what I would like to come out of this is, since the very beginning, since only 30 to 40 years after the ascension of Lord Jesus Christ, already the church was contaminated with false teachers. Uh, by the way, also there is uh, another one uh, in the epistle of St. John, third, third, uh, uh, third epistle. He was talking about a person named Diotrephus, who, who was wanted to be the first and even was is uh, uh, expelling people uh, from a church like uh, send them away all right so from the very beginning some people would like to be on the top some people would like uh, their own teachings some people they will be giving like false teachings and will uh, uh, drift or take the the disciples toward themselves so don't think that those people were those like uh, uh, special vestment or clothing and this black stuff they are above like uh, mistakes or uh, in fact they are worse than anyone you might think of most of them all right uh, before I continue it is still in, in the introduction how actually some people knew the truth this is my objective one day you might get some doubt about something don't let go go and de like dig and find out this is what happened with me and with everyone i'll give you a testimony of my uh, one of my niece 
Uh, when she was, I think, 10, 19, that was a few years ago, uh, she went to her confession father and she began to ask, why do we kiss? It's, it's like very simple stuff. Uh, the kiss of uh, the hand of, of, of the priest and why a girl is not entitled to do this and that when she had got her period and all the stuff. And he told her, hey, la, la, la. when you get some, something like that, this is from the devil. So what you do, just cross yourself and you do, I uh, can't remember what amount of metania, you know, because this is from the devil. Wow. When you start thinking this is from the devil, absolutely not. By the way, everyone must at a certain time doubt even the existence of God and you must find out. Everyone, by the way, must like one day even think about uh, the religion and the God and all the stuff. If you don't have this, you'll be an abnormal person, by the way. We must have all these questions, by the way. So, so this is the way, if you have a, a query, they will tell you, oh, this is from the devil. Like Muslims, you say, there is a verse in the, in the Quran, don't ask about something that, that, that comes to your mind that might mis, uh, mislead you. So then they say, oh, don't ask this stuff. Some people even they think, uh, who is God, where he is, no, 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 this is from the devil, exactly what the priest said to my, to my niece, okay? So what I would like now to tell you is, uh, those people, they are against, like, uh, whatever is called the, uh, like, uh, using your mind anyway, in a simple way, okay? So what, what's the topic today? The topic today is, we know that, everyone knows that, uh, Father Dawood Lamai is really a, the number one speaker in the Coptic Orthodox Church today. All right, and uh, he has like a very important statement. He said, "Without priesthood, the church will disappear," uh, and this is true. Without the priesthood, their church will disappear. All right, so they are, he, he has to fight falsely and. And falsely, because there is nothing called a priesthood, so they cannot, we cannot say it's legally or no, definitely, it's all false, uh, uh, like reasons uh, trying to prove the uh, priesthood. Anyway, let's watch his the, this short clip where he uh, where uh, he says, without priesthood, the church will disappear. بدون كهنوت يسقط معنى الكنيسة حسب تعليم الكتاب وحسب تعليم الأباء وحسب تاريخ العهد الجديد كله والكهنوت هو المسار الطبيعي عشان النعمة تدلق علينا نعمة الغفران ونعمة التعليم ونعمة الشفاء ونعمة الأبوة كل النعم دي بتدلق على الكنيسة من خلال الكهنوت من يرفض الكهنوت يرفض النعمة Okay, because of this statement, he is deploying all his gifts from God. He, he uses it like, uh, uh, I would say, in a wicked way in order to prove the priesthood, which is the topic of today. We will see now. We will see now a, cl a short clip about verse 14 from chapter 4, first epistle of St. Paul to Timothy. See, uh, let's watch this, then come back again to like to translate it to you and like to comment on it. إلى أن أجي أعكف على القراءة والوعظ والتعليم لا تهمل الموهبة. التي فيك تي مساوس واخد حاجة اسمها موهبة الكهنوت نعمة الكهنوت سر هبة خاصة مش لأي واحد في شعب الكنيسة فهذه الموهبة المعطاة لك بالنبوة مع وضع أيدي المشيخة وكلمة مشيخة مش دقيقة في العربي لازم نجاهر بكت بترجعوا تقروها في اليوناني تفيد الكهنوت بشكل صريح البعض بيترجمها في الكتب القديمة بوضع يد الأساقفة أو ساعات تترجم مع وضع يد الكهنوت لأن تيموساوس وضع عليه اليد لكي يصير أسقفا في سر كهنوت فهنا مذكور أن في وضع يد 
إذا وضع اليد هو عملية رسامة الكهنة والأسقفة زي ما هو مستمر من ألفين سنة لغاية النهاردة ودي موهبة خاصة يختار لها الشخص إذا مش كل شخص هياخد الموهبة دي عشان كده تلاحظوا إنه مثلا لما أتكلم عن الأسقفة في الإصحاح الثالث الدل ومواصفات يجب أن يكون الأسقف بلا لوم بعد امرأة واحدة صاحيا عاقلا محتشما يبقى مش كل واحد في شعب الكنيسة ينفع يبقى كاهن أو أسقف أو شماس. So what does the verse says? It says neglect not the gift that is in thee which was given like to you by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery this is the point the word the presbytery all right because if you understood it in, in arabic he said it's in arabic the word the presbytery is translated uh sheikh and he like like not happy at all and he says no 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 the arabic one is totally is not true at all and they, like he waved he's using the hand like this is uh, this is uh, 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 terribly bad and even he added and we have now to uh, speak up about it in an indi indirectly pointing that the protestant forged the translation which is not really true he we will see now he is the person actually lying in the translation and he added if you understood the arabic one he said if you read it in Greek, you will find it is talking about priesthood openly. I repeat this again. He said, as if he went to the Greek uh, language and he found it, and he said, if you go to the original language, uh, it talks about priesthood openly. And this is the topic of today. All right. So now let's go to the original language and you see whether the word should be presbytery or priesthood as he mentioned should be priesthood the laying hand on of hands of the priesthood now it is not priesthood it's presbytery because now he is trying now to take this verse accuse protestant because protestant or i, I prefer to be called evangelical but anyway uh we will say what well, because the word protestant actually is like like means heretics like uh, it doesn't mean heretics but when they mention it like normally they link it to the heresy protestant they, they, like uh, they uh, they were not uh, uh, the object of something anyway let's go to the word presbytery so now if you go to any reference that has coptic uh, sorry greek language like isort which i use or bible hub you can see this and i think it could be also blb application so what the greek word says uh, what is the greek word and what is the description of it again we see it on the top presbytery g4244 what's the description of it it says the order of elders that is specifically israelite sanhedrin or christian presbytery a state of elder or elders Presbytery and how can I pronounce it in Greek? Presbyterion. That's it. So the word is not priesthood. It is about Presbyterians. Presbyterion. Presbytery. Okay. And can you see it says according to King James Version, it is mentioned three times. Okay, that's great. Let's go and find out those three times or two. Anyway, two or three times. Well, three is not too much, so we can go for those ones. Here we go. Second slide. Can you see? It says we'll find those three where Luke 22, 66, Acts 22, verse 5, and the first Timothy 4, 14, which we just read. So let's read those ones. The first one, uh, Luke 22, 66. What does it say? At day break, the council of elders, but not priests, the council of elders of the people. So this is the word, the council of the elders was used the same word number g4244 the presbyterian one which is okay what about acts chapter 2 uh, 22 verse 5 as the high priest 
and all council of elders and can you see that he differentiates now between the high priests and the council of the elders can themselves testify, testify so the council of the elders was called also mentioned as presbyterian last one which is that we're discussing now don't neglect the gift that is in you which was given to you by prophecy by the laying on of hands of the eldership eldership so presbyterian is eldership eldership so now to prove this we have to prove what about priesthood is it mentioned in the bible absolutely it's totally different word can you find it yes is there any more well, like more than once of course more than once so, so we'll take like two references okay let's read now this one if you go to the book of hebrews as you say on the top seven five it says what and verily they that are the sons of levi levi is a priesthood right who received the office of the priesthood this is the word that i'm after so there is a different word than eldership and priesthood because he says and oh, no, i shouldn't be eldership should be priesthood no sir should not be priesthood when and he says what this is what is in the greek language in the original language it's talking about the priesthood openly no sir you are lying you are not saying the truth you're misleading people so what is the word the priesthood it's g2405 can you see it what does it say in the strong description uh, from whatever priest priest loyness that is the sacerdotal function sacerdotal is a latin word about priesthood and anyway it is office of the priesthood or priest's office thank you very much so this means what 100 percent the arabic translation and even the english translation is 100 percent correct should be eldership should be eldery uh, but not priesthood anyway so th now this shows what who now is actually the lawyer is that the, or forged the bible is the protestant when they translated and give us the arabic translation and we thank them or we thank god that some protestant moved in their hearts to generate arabic translation to, for us otherwise we wouldn't have one and now every now and then they try like to uh, accuse them that they forged the direct translation now this is not true at all so now we offer three slides out of it we found out actually the protestant did not forge the translation he is the one doing this number next one he was talking about our laying on of hands and again he's not trying to show people that there is a certain uh a uh, group of people have like the priority or the hierarchy or the leadership uh, but in a way actually i would say it's in in a way actually to enslave people anyway if you read the bible gently nicely and understand it yourself old and new testament you will find actually laying on of hands when assigning someone to a new job it doesn't mean it's like a magical thing there it's just declaring that this person has been assigned to this particular job whether it is a priest or a king even in the old testament exactly like the oath that we see uh, a prime minister or a president of a country has to say when he is elected as a president or as a prime minister after now we exposed him in this he kept in the in, in the clip reading from the third chapter when he tried to show that not anyone can be even a deacon or a priest or a bishop and then he said uh, he read from the same epistle chapter 3 about what are the conditions or the terms that or qualifications that should be uh, in a, a person to be nominated appointed as uh, to the office of leading the church as a bishop he said to be what a husband of one wife father Dawood actually should be ashamed of this because while he is reading this at the same time his church insists that the bishop should not be a husband at all he must be from the monks so in this short clip you know how many 
false teaching there. Number one, accusing falsely the Protestant of forging the translation. In fact, he is the person actually forging the translation. Second thing, he is reading that the bishop should be a husband of, uh, uh, of one wife. Meanwhile, in his church, this is not applied at all. No one can be like that. So they are actually going again. It's the Bible in their terminology. All right. So, dear brother and sister, those whom you think they are above reproach, they are actually the ones, the devil coming from them. The uh, son of perdition is coming of them. The false teachers will be coming of them. All the heretics, by the way, were clergy people. For example, uh, Arius was, a, was the most famous priest in Alexandria in, at his time. And he had the gift like, even to, to write songs and even he put his wrong teachings in a form of songs so people can easily memorize them. So out of the episode of today, I wish if you can like wash your mind that those people, in fact, the most people they can boldly lie and even changing the Bible itself and they trust that you will not be able like, to say they are liars or anything like that they don't make any mistakes and you will trust them and they know very well you will never go and find out yourself and if you find out you will, might let it go no don't let it go okay I will read again the verses that I read in the, in the beginning and I hope that you can link the verses to the situation that you've seen today how this man the priest I'm talking about, he forged the translation and the even he is saying in the original language is talking about priesthood while actually it is not like that and he's talking boldly like that if he's saying the truth while it is not and also he reads there uh, a bishop must be uh, a husband of one wife and while actually it's not it is not there all right I repeat this I repeat those verses again Jesus answered them, Jesus answered them, did I not choose you, the twelve, and one of you is a devil. Those whom you gave me, I have kept, and none of them is lost except the son of P. perdition. Of perdition. For I know this, after that after my departure, savage wolves will come in among you, in not, not sparing the flock. Also from among yourselves, men will rise up, speaking perverse things. To draw away the disciples after themselves but there were also false prophets among the people even as there will be false teachers we have seen today false teachers among you who will secretly bring a destructive heresies beloved do not believe every spirit but test the spirits whether they are of from uh, are of god because many false prophets false teachers have gone out into the world god willing as of next uh, episode will start studying the history of uh, priesthood uh, like it's a long series anyway and uh, uh, this will give more lights when the priesthood actually came into uh, into life in the history uh, please pray for the uh, epi for the uh, channel and subscribe to the channel please if you haven't and also encourage others to subscribe to the channel this helps the channel to be more popular so it will be easy for people to find uh, to find out and also uh, if you can uh, like share the channel with others as well may the lord bless you all if it doesn't come we'll meet again in another episode